up a chair and join me today Out in my workshop I'm tinkering away Wand above staring down on me Wonder what my next project will be Working on my Johnson, my Mercury Martin Firing up my Starcraft to fish again Grab your friends and your dog is too To watch Tim's Workshop on my YouTube Hey, welcome to Tim's Workshop out here in the mini shed. This is part two of the uh, Belgium made 1992 Johnson outboard motor carb rebuild. Hey, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave comments, hit the notification bell if you like, give me a like, hit the old hand thing, and let your friends and family know about my videos too. So we took the carb on the part one, we put it in the bearing for half hour, took it out and rinsed it off in the fresh water bucket, and I ordered the kit from marineengine.com. Uh, when you get it, you get a, a new card. It's not magnetic, but you can make it magnetic if you want. So it has some uh, new parts on here that we're, we're gonna use. And some, some of the parts that we're just gonna use that were on the motor to begin with. Now, this float is, uh, is nice and all that, but this one here should be set up and adjusted for this carb. So instead of having to do that on this one, if this float doesn't have a hole in it, it's still good. So we'll save this for future whatever. I'll just mark it that uh, what it what it's for, or put it back in the bag here, I guess. Be a good way of doing it. Take this part and see what's inside here. Nothing. That's interesting. Huh. Yeah, there we go. So that's what that piece is for. Okay, now this should come out. What is all this? Oh, I bet that O-ring is what goes around here. And this is the old O-ring and it's broken. Yeah, that's an O-ring. Okay. That's a good thing we took it apart. Okay. It's time to clean it up and put the new parts on. I used the, uh, the gum out carb cleaner. Got all the parts clean. First off, what we're going to do is uh, put this stuff back together. So what we have here is this piece here takes an o-ring okay so we'll put this over the top and then into that and there we go got the o-ring on there okay now put this back in there now the uh, the pin goes into the slot here so it only it al only allows it to go so far so we'll push oh another o-ring goes here so let's get that o-ring off pull that one off Probably should have put that one on first. <laughs> oh well. I'll get it on. Okay. So, the other O-rings over here. So put the old stuff there. There we go. This thing here, we're not going to be uh, using. I don't see where it goes on this motor, on this carb. So, let's get this one over the top. that all the way down into the notch and 
there we go. So we got that on, got that one on, that one on. Now we can push this back in there. Okay, and then put the new pin in. There we go. There we go. That works good. All right, and we got that together. This goes back on apparently with nothing. So I'll just put it back in there. There's no O-ring in there. Nope, that's not an O-ring, okay. All right, so get that cleaned off. That's good. Put that back in there. Snug that up. Okay. I got these all blown out with the carb cleaner, so that works. Okay, that's good. So that's all set up and ready to go. <clears throat> okay, now I'll start putting this back together. So first off, the uh, jet, we got that, uh, got this all cleaned out, the Venturi. Okay, put that down in there. Get that uh, down. And get that tightened up. Okay, that's seated. Okay. Then the next piece is the jet. I got that cleaned out. Okay, that's good. Get the new uh, needle and pin and the seat and the washer. There we go. So the washer, nylon washer goes on the seat. Okay, the seat goes in here. Okay, the big screwdriver. There we go. There we go. Okay, now needle and seat. Okay, then the uh, float bowl. This is the original. So let's see. like this and the pin put the new pin in Let's see goes in like this. There we go. Look at it, make sure it's level. Uh, 
That looks good. Okay. Now the needle and seat. So we use this crush washer first. Okay. Put that down in there. Then the nylon washer. Then the pin. Get this down in there, started. Okay. And this goes over the top. Get that down in there. 7 sixteenths. Make sure that's not tightening. Make sure that's backed off before you tighten this thing, the big nut. Okay, <clears throat> take that down to where it's seated. Where's my other screwdriver? There we go. Okay, there's seat, half. Full, half. All right, I'm gonna try that. Hopefully that works. It doesn't leak all over the place. Okay, the new gasket. Beautiful. See how it has a hole in the right spot there for that? Okay, got that. Okay, start the screws. Now, when you torque these screws, because this is plastic, I'll look it up to make sure, but I'm pretty sure uh, on plastic, you don't want to go full torque on something you, you would normally go higher torque on because of the uh, aluminum cover compared to a plastic cover is different. Okay, so we got that. We're gonna torque it yet. Uh, what else do we need to put on here? We have the other gasket that goes here between here and the uh, motor. We got this, goes back on. So well, there we go, we got the roller on. It's weird how they, they put this adjustment screw in and the adjustment screw is bent. So when it comes down, it misses this piece right here. <laughs> I think it's, as far as I can see, I think it was made that way on purpose. That's tight, so there we go. We just gotta torque this up and I gotta verify the torque on this and I'm not sure, I might have to get some different screws. So I, uh, I went back and I was curious about the torque on these, so I looked it up and it's eight to 10 inch pounds, really light for plastic, okay? So that's what we're gonna torque these to. And then also, uh, when I said there was nothing in here, well, it's actually missing what they call the bladder. That's what this thing is. And I'm not sure how the fuel goes through here, but apparently it must uh, 
it must, you know, somehow go through this. So we're gonna put it in. So let's see. Okay, nine sixteenths. Pull this out, whoa. And put the bladder in, just like that. Okay, that's what it looks like once it's in. Got the little deal, it's like a balloon. But somehow or another, the fuel goes through that, uh, that bladder. Okay, that's tight enough for that. Okay, this thing works good. That's, this is the choke lever, is what that is. That's where I took the pin out, put the two O-rings in it. That's a choke, which lets uh, more fuel in, or I don't know, there's two, there's two hoses that go here. I'm not quite sure what's what. We got the bladder in now. Oh, gotta torque this. So if you don't want the gasket to leak, you gotta make sure that these screws are all evenly torqued. So I looked it up on the, uh, on the service manual I got for this, and it was online. You buy it, it's only, you know, it's cheap, so. So I'm gonna set it for 10 inch pounds. We'll go to the max, okay? And then we'll put the uh, Phillips tip in. We'll go with the number two tip. Okay. All right. And kind of go across from each other evenly until it's full torque. Man, I don't know about that screw over there. Okay, that's 10 inch pounds. Okay, that's 10 inch pounds. Right. Okay, that's it. They're all evenly torqued. So this is ready to put back on the motor. We'll put everything back on and uh, put some fuel in the tank. Uh, and try to start it up and see if it will run. I don't know. We'll see. 